Hey guys, it's uh, February 13, it's a Saturday, it's 1 a.m. in the night, uh, morning. But uh, I'm recording this message because I'm not getting any sleep. Uh, thank you for all your good wishes, uh, people who've been asking me to get well soon, but uh, it's, I'm okay, it's my father, he's been in the ICU since uh, Sunday. Uh, and Yeah, I mean, I hope uh, he gets well soon. I'm at my parents' house, my mom's staying the night with him. So I thought I should take this opportunity to guide you guys uh, because uh, your board exams are coming up, scared you, no the dates are not out yet, don't panic and start checking the internet. Uh, they haven't announced the ICSC board exams dates yet, uh, but if this is the Feb 3rd week and I'm guessing the board exams will happen in May 1st week, so it's high time that you guys made a study schedule for yourself. So I thought I should record this message and help you guys out uh, with your study schedule. Uh, only for English. I'm purely uh, talking about English. If you have this video here, but it's not helping you guys, you may uh, shut this down. All right. Uh, those who are still here and watching this, uh, if you are coming to me already, uh, you'll be getting this planner and this video uh, on WhatsApp. So, uh, you know, it's going to help you out uh, to understand what I'm planning to do with you guys before the board exams. If you don't come to me already, you may use this planner as a base model for yourself and uh, I hope it helps you guys okay so I'm purely again I'm saying I'm only talking about English I will be giving English eight days all right day one should be your analysis of ICSC board paper 2020 uh, because it's important for you to know what mistakes your seniors have made uh, what approach you should have when you are writing your uh, board paper what uh, techniques you should follow Okay, so it's important to know your battleground, all right? So first day, we'll only be understanding what mistakes kids make and what mistakes can be avoided. Uh, and that's going to be day one, all right? For language and literature, both. It takes a lot of time to do that, all right? So you're gonna need two hours to just understand all of this. Uh, then day two, what we'll be doing is we'll start off with essays, all right? Now, I avoid practicing essays throughout the year uh, because no matter how many times you try guiding the kids, if your English is not very strong, you are going to keep making the same mistakes as you normally do, all right? And uh, now, if you follow these instructions, then we are towards the end, you know? So maybe these instructions will register uh, more effectively than they otherwise would. So essays at this point are important. So we are going to invest two days for essays. So that's day two and day three. We're going to be focusing on essay writing along with solving, solving as in going through and tackling uh, different sort of questions from prose and poems from prelim papers. Okay. So you're in Bombay. We get an access to prelim papers all over Bombay. If you're already my student, you can access these papers. I've sent you the link already on WhatsApp. All right, so you can go through all the prelim papers and we'll be tackling the question answers. Uh, that's day two and day three. Uh, then day four, we'll be practicing email, notice and letter. Day five, we'll be continuing with email, notice and letter. Day six, we'll be focusing on pressy, prepositions and MOV from these prelim papers. Day seven, we'll be practicing do as directed along with the uh, MOV uh, from the prelim papers. And uh, day eight, you'll be solving one last paper for me for prose and poetry. Uh, so that way you're done with English. Now, if you notice, I did not talk about dates. I only spoke about days. So day one to day eight, because these eight days can be uh, anywhere in your study timeline. Okay, you may start off with English and then move to other subjects, which is not advisable. You should start off with other subjects and leave English towards the end. So because no matter what uh, your uh, board date is whenever the schedule is announced you'll notice that English is always the first or the second paper so it's always uh, imperative to do English towards the end you know so plan your studies in a way that you start off with let's say bio hypothetically bio is always the last paper so abhi tumhara study mein ek week pura bio ke liye dalna chahiye fir let's say physics fir chemistry fir blah 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 so that's how towards the end as soon as you reach English towards April third week you should start off with English so April 3rd and 4th week should be for English. That way, May, May, Jabi bhi boards hai, English tumara ho jata hai, theek sir. Okay? So what will happen is, those kids who come to me just for English might experience a dry spell, you know. Ek to already tumare boards delay ho chuke. So by, right, by now, you would have already bid your goodbyes to me. Uh, uh, but now that you're stuck with me until May, 
you may feel that has has sir forgotten about us no i'm not forgotten about you okay this is the time if you are done with other subjects tumhara padhai ho gaya tum super human be no so don't waste time solving papers a lot of irritating kids do that only because their parents scare them into it so parents if you're listening to this it's a bad idea to make your kids solve papers 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 wo english mein kaam nahi aata because what's happening is your child is making the same mistake again and again he is not scoring an 80 on 80 because his self study is not done yet so now's the time when you peacefully sit to complete your studies और right, वो भी मैं सिखा चुका हूँ दस बार बट अगर तुम पहली बार मेरा कोई वीडियो देख रहे हो या सुन रहे हो कान खोल के तो लास्ट टाइम बता रहा हूँ वेन यू स्टडी इंग्लिश स्टडी ओनली थ्रू द टेक्सट बुक ओके एक बार नहीं कम से कम पांच बार ओके यू शुड बी रीडिंग योर कॉन्टेंट एटलीस्ट फाइव टाइम्स एटलीस्ट फाइव टाइम्स तब जाके वो रजिस्टर होगा उसके बाद नोट्स खोलो ओके वंस यू आर डन विद दिस यूल बी अमेज एट हाउ फ्लूंट यू आर सॉल्विंग एनी क्वेश्चन दैट कम्स योर वे तो वो जब हो जाएगा और फिर ये जब आठ दिन आएंगे तब हम लोग जब जब कोई प्रिलिम पेपर देखेंगे यू वोट हैव टू ओपन योर टेक्सट बुक बिकॉज इट्स ऑल इन योर हेड ऑलरेडी सो दैट शुड बी योर प्रेपरेशन टाइम राइट नाउ सो डोंट लेट इंग्लिश बी आउट ऑफ साइट आउट ऑफ माइंड यूज दिस टाइम टू मेमराइज योर प्रेपोजिशन जोसेफ मयाल एंड विश्वास में देर आर एटलीस्ट टू फोर्टी टू थ्री हंड्रेड प्रेपोजिशन देर आर फ्रेजल वर्ब दैट नीड टू बी मेमराइज योर टोटल इंग्लिश नाइन टोटल इंग्लिश टेन लास्ट टेन ईयर्स बॉड पेपर्स फोकस ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वे यू बीन मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स what topics are you really bad at you know is it active passive voice that you lose marks in uh, is it degrees of comparison is it direct indirect speech identify surgical strike you know identify the topic work on it notice how many mistakes you made in the past uh, months you know don't act like you're starting english now so now should be the time for self study and then these 8 days mein i'll cover up your subject for you okay like i said if you're already coming to me you have nothing to worry about my reputation is at stake okay so people are always going to say english inke paas pada maine to mere liye ye marks important hai so i'm going to make sure that you guys score if you're not coming to me and you're watching this video on youtube uh, i took it i took the onus of putting up videos for you guys this entire year during covid because not a lot of you have access to good teachers so i hope this planner benefits you guys as well take guidance from someone around you you know your school teachers or your english teachers in your locality you can ask them to guide you but you can follow this planner you know so follow the planner and they'll help you to understand the nuances of it the details of it all right um and once again thank you for all the blessings and uh, i love you guys stay safe uh, and i hope to be back in action soon because mentally i'm not in the state of mind to make more and more videos right now uh but hopefully uh you know once dad is discharged and things are okay again i'll be back uh, in form all right um so stay safe go hug your father wherever he is uh you know uh, and go hug your mom also i mean don't let her feel left out siblings i don't care much about yes they are just go kick your sibling and come uh but otherwise love you guys uh take care bye